special place right now. Um, I'm trying not to get emotional. This is the, my first team. Um, all season, this is what me and my coach, John Smith, have been gearing for. You know, I wanted to run fast all the time, and he would laugh and say, that's impossible if you want to make this team. And um, my last couple races before I got here weren't too great. Everybody was kind of counting me out. <laughs> and um, he told me, Olympic trials is, you know, where you're going to show up. And I'm extremely blessed right now. When the gun clicked, all I could hear was my coach, John Smith, telling me, stay patient stay patient and let the finish line come to you and that's exactly what i did i haven't been able to see the race yet but i knew i was as patient as i possibly could be today <laughs> so I'm, i feel very good right now i'm i'm ex excited to represent the u.s going to london you know i just want the american fans to be so proud of me over there and i'm so excited to be a part of this team and i'm excited for jenna who also made the team and you know we have to go over there and we have to represent for the red, white, and blue. And I'm most definitely sure that we'll both do that. Oh, the race was... Can you hear me? <laughs> I felt very confident. I felt very comfortable in the race. Before I ran, I always prayed and told myself or and asked God for guidance and protection and just help me to get down to the finish line. And that's exactly what he did. I just... I'm so thankful for everything. I'm so thankful for my coach, Bobby Kersey. In fact, I'm thankful for my training partner, Allison. It's all a big blessing for me. All right, thank you. We'll open it up for questions. Anyone? Carmelita, when you say that uh, patience was required and that you were as patient as you could be, could you tell us what that means technically and uh, and what that also me ha meant over the last few weeks when you had a couple races that weren't so great? Well, patience all around with the races that weren't so great, of course, you know, and um, in the race, you know, being patient. Sometimes I tend in the final to pop up and just try to race to the finish line and sometimes that will cause you not to you know get there first because you you rushed all your movements and you rushed everything and so today what john smith wanted me to do was be patient be patient and let the line come to me not rush not panic not run off of anyone else he wanted me to run my own race today and stay in my own lane and pay attention to what carmelita had to do and that's what i mean when i say be patient he wanted me to run carmelita and not everyone else's race Jennifer, Mark Winnitz with California Track and Running News. Hey, Mark. Congratulations. Hi. Say, uh, this is your first Olympic team. Can you tell us what the key ingredients were uh, for you and your success today? <laughs> the key ingredient, I can safely say, was trust and um, getting out of your comfort zone. I left my collegiate coach and I, I went to Bobby Kersey and I didn't really know anything about his training program. I just heard a lot of scary things. So... <laughs> I just, um, my agent Kim, Kimberly Holland told me to just trust the program and don't ask any questions and just believe in it and you will do fine. And that's exactly what I did. Hi, since Tiana's not here, could both of you comment on the, the week that she's had and the race that she ran and do you know where she is? <laughs> Well, I'm up here right now, and so is Jenna, but I don't know if I can comment on someone else's race. I'm sorry. You would need that person here to comment on their race, but if you want to know about me or Jenna's race, uh, I'm sure we wouldn't mind commenting on that. <laughs> Jenna, but I, don't, I mean, I don't know what the officials have told you at, at this point, but we're getting updated. Results that it's actually a tie for third. What have they told you so far? They told me that they had to go to the thousands to get our time. And that was it. <laughs> oh my God. Okay. Do you know what happens if it's a complete tie? Are you familiar with the ruling? I'm not. I have no idea what happens if it's a complete tie. Carmelita, when you woke up this morning, did you feel like you were going to perform the way you did? <sighs> When I woke up this morning, I felt very good. I felt good about myself. I didn't feel stressed. I felt like I, this is what I had trained for. This is what I was prepared to do. Um, and, I, and I knew I had to come out and I had to execute. So I felt very good. I spoke to my parents and they had so many good things to say to me. And it always feels good to, to talk to your parents because, you know, they're so biased. <laughs> 
but they um, they definitely made me feel very good this morning when I spoke to them and they gave me like high spirits and they basically just told me to come out here and have fun today and and that's exactly what I did okay, yeah, Jennifer right here uh, in this race uh, a lot of people probably expected uh, Allison Felix to get on the team and, and you're far less um, well known than she is how does it feel to to edge someone of, of that caliber for a, a spot on the Olympic team. Um, to edge someone of that caliber always feels good. I I don't. I'm really. I'm still speechless and in shock about the whole situation. But I'm so excited to be on this Olympic team and all the hard work really paid off for the both of us. Wow. Ask call for questions. All right. Well, thank you very all right, much. Thank ladies. you so much.